guys. Today we are making Valentine's cupcakes. Yummy! I'm so excited for this. I didn't actually really know what to do a video on today. Um, <clears throat> I was kind of feeling uninspired. And then I was browsing recipes online. I've kind of been obsessed with like Valentine's recipes and stuff. And I thought I would just go ahead and make some red velvet cupcakes because I have been craving them so, so bad since I was thinking about Valentine's Day and thinking about what I'm going to make. So I know it's early, but I mean, it's better for you guys if this is up early so then you can practice and know how to do them in time. Um, so obviously I'm going to probably eat all of these before Valentine's Day comes, but I might make them again. So I'm using recipe I found online. I will post everything down below in the description box, the link and everything so you can see all the ingredients. But um, the first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 76 degrees Celsius. Now I have a um, Celsius uh, oven because I'm in Europe. So um, I preheated mine to 175. Next thing you want to do is line your muffin tin with cases. So I'm actually going to do um, a few different ones. I'm going to do some with regular paper cases and then I'm going to do some with silicone. Um, this recipe is for 24 cupcakes. I'm going to make slightly bigger ones because I only have um, one of these 12, um, 12 cupcake casey tinny thingies. <laughs> and then I have one for six. So that's 18, isn't it? Yeah. Now you can use whichever cases you want. I found these. I've had these for a while actually. They're um, petite heart baking cases, so they have little hearts on them. And these are just regular paper ones. Um, I don't know, it just says PME Arts and Crafts. I'm sure I got this at like a baking shop. Um, and then I'm going to use these, which are like my favorite. They're silicone cases and they're all different colors and they're in a heart shape. So they're so, so cute for Valentine's Day. I just feel like they're so adorable. So I have six of these and then I'm going to do 12 of these and we'll see how that goes. So I have 12 with the little heart um, paper ones and, oh I just noticed one of them was doubled over, oops. Um, and then one or like six silicone cases in little silicone, um, I know this looks really flimsy and like it's going to burn but it won't, I promise. Next you need to grab a big bowl. Now this is my Baking bowl, I love it so much. It's so cute and it's perfect for Valentine's Day even though people aren't going to see it. I mean like, God, they won't really see it. It doesn't really have anything to do with the final product. But it's cute to work with anyway. Um, I got this in a baking or a cookery shop as well. Um, it's called Brennan's Cookery. Brennan's, yeah, I think Brennan's Cookery Shop in Cork if you live in Cork. Um, if not, I think you can get these in just any kind of cookery shops. But um, it's pink and it's got hearts on it and it's really, really big. So this is what I'm using for my dry ingredients. First ingredient is two and a half cups of cake flour. Now I'm using cream flour, which is the same thing. It's just like um, the best one. It's more, I think it's more finely milled. Um, it's the best one for cakes and stuff like that. And um, you can just use plain flour, whatever you want, but just don't use self-raising. That's the main thing. So two and a half cups. These are my little cup or my little heart measurement. They're so cute. I can't actually find the one cup measurement. So this is a half cup. So I'm going to do two and a half cups of that and put it in the bowl. Next you need two tablespoons of unsweetened Dutch processed cocoa powder, whatever that means. I have no idea. Um, this is an American recipe, I think. So yeah, it is. So um, it might be different over there, but I'm just using the Cadbury's Bourneville Coca, Coco, Coca, <laughs> Cocoa Powder. Um, it's made from 100% cocoa beans and yeah, I don't know. So again, I've got my little heart. Um, so two tablespoons of that into the dry mixture. Two. Hoping you can see me better now. Um, next we need one teaspoon, I think, of salt, just plain salt, like this one right here. So hopefully you can see me better down here. Um, next you need one teaspoon of just regular salt. And two. Okay. We're just going to mix everything together and then we're just going to set it aside and work on our wet ingredients. Okay, then grab another bowl. This one's red for Valentine's Day. 
um, a smaller bowl this time and you're going to need one and a half cups of sugar, just regular granulated sugar is fine. Add to that one and a half cups, so same measurement of vegetable oil, and this is just cheapo vegetable oil that I got um, at Centra. You can get whatever one you want. And this recipe is great for those of you that have an issue with butter. Um, my husband does have some kind of intolerance to butter, I don't know why. Um, his body kind of freaks out anytime he has butter, so I have to be really careful when I bake. Um, so if you have a child or family member or husband or whatever that kind of has an intolerance to butter or just doesn't really do well with butter, then this is the perfect recipe because it uses oil instead. So what I'm going to do now is grab my whisk and my electric whisk and I'm going to beat that. So I don't have a fancy whisk or like a um, one of those double ones or even one of those KitchenAids. I just have like one whisk that's electric um, and it came with like a mini blender and everything. So it was actually really good value. So I like it. And it's small and compact and you can take it with you when you're traveling and stuff like that. If you're going to be cooking or blending, I don't know. <laughs> um, or making smoothies, that's what it's good for. So I'm just going to whisk this or beat this. I'm going to add in eggs now. Now you want how many eggs? Two large eggs at room temperature. So make sure you left them out for a little bit. I left mine out for not too long, but just a little bit. So two large, preferably free range eggs. And you're going to add them in one at a time, beating them as you go. Egg number one. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of red food coloring. This is going to make it red, red velvet. I love red velvet. I could eat it like in everything. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you're going to put in two tablespoons. This is all messy from the cocoa powder, but two tablespoons of the red food coloring. If you have if you have red um, food coloring paste or gel, you can add. I think it's two or a half a teaspoon of red gel food, pa food paste. Yeah, red gel food paste, if you have that instead. But I just have the food coloring, so I'm gonna add two tablespoons of that. Oh my God, we just had enough. I just finished it, just as well. Okay. And now we're gonna add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. So this is a really good quality one. Um, I can't remember where I got this, maybe the health food shop or something like that. It's got a hair on it, that's gross. Um, but it's lasted like forever. So this is like, I, it just says finest quality. I don't know, but um, it's a really good quality one and it smells amazing. So one teaspoon of that. And now we're just gonna beat that again so that everything's mixed together. Okay, so now is the fun part. We're gonna add the wet ingredients into the dry, like so. Make sure you have every bit of that in there. And I'm kinda just doing this with a wooden spoon. It says you can do it on a low setting with your blender if you want, but I'm just taking the slow option. Now we're gonna add in one cup of buttermilk. So this is half cup, one, and two. But we're just gonna set this one aside for a second. And I'm just gonna mix the first half a cup in to the mixture. And then I'm gonna add the second one. Then in a small bowl like this one, you're gonna put in two teaspoons of white vinegar.
And then added to that, you're going to put one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So, as this will is, apparently. One. Yep, it's fizzing. Two. Three. It's like foaming up. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of mix that around a little bit. And then just add that to everything else. Make sure it's all mixed well. I hate the smell of vinegar in red velvet. Like when it's, you can't taste it afterwards, but when you first are like putting it into the mixture, I just, I, I've always hated that part. But then afterwards, it's like, it's fine because you can't even taste it. I'm grabbing a tablespoon and I'm just going to start spooning the mixture in. And you want them so that they are about three quarter of the way full. Okay, so when that is finally done, that took me so long. And yes, some of them are going to be huge, I can tell, because they're filled way too far up. But um, like I said in the beginning, I didn't have two 12 um, cupcake tins. So we're going to pop them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, so the oven just went off, so that means they're ready. I'm just going to take them out and prick them and see if they're done. They've been in for 20 minutes exactly. So, they seem done to me. Transfer them to a wire rack and just let them cool completely before I even think about putting icing on because if I put the frosting on, it'll just, and they're still warm, it'll just melt. So I'm going to just let them cool and then come back and we'll make the frosting, yay. Okay, so they've kind of cooled down. I'd say they need just a few more minutes. But I'm going to get started on the frosting because um, if you can hear that bubbling sound, it's our dinner. <laughs> our dinner is cooking at the moment because I had to kind of like get a move on with everything. So it's like late at night. Well, it's not late at night, but it's like late in the evening. It's like 7.20. So anyways, um, so what you're going to need for this is soft cream cheese. Now I'm using the light Philadelphia just because I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, you know. Um, so it looks like this. It's actually the extra light version. So I tried to just kind of cut down calories a little bit, but um, this is not a healthy recipe by any means. So um, it's a dessert, you know, you want it to be sweet. Um, but I just decided, you know, I'd go ahead and get the extra light. So you need eight ounces of this or 225 grams, I think. So this is 200 grams. So I'm just gonna use this and a little bit extra. And you're gonna put that into a bowl. You're gonna need some powdered sugar, icing sugar. I'm just using this one right here. Um, and you're gonna need how many cups? I think two cups. Yeah, no, three cups, sorry three cups of icing sugar. Then added to that, you're gonna take two teaspoons of, I think it's two, yeah, two teaspoons of cinnamon, grand cinnamon. And this is gonna give it a bite. And make it super yummy. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract which is going to make it super yummy. And now you can beat this with a wooden spoon if your cream cheese is really soft then you might want to do that or you can beat it with um, like an egg beater or like a whisk. I'm just going to go with a wooden spoon because I'm just lazy and I don't want to plug in the beater, the egg beater anymore. Okay, at this point I'm starting to laugh because it's brown. Um, I think that's because of the cinnamon and also the um, vanilla essence. Maybe in America your cinnamon and vanilla essence are white, but ours aren't here in Europe. So mine is brown and the one on the computer screen was like dazzling white. So I'm kind of like, oh, really? But I mean, if it tastes good, that's all that matters, I suppose. I'm not really too pushed, but it's just kind of odd. Okay, so this is day two. I actually... Um, 
didn't end up filming me eating the cupcakes yesterday because I didn't eat any because I had really bad morning or well actually it was evening sickness technically but nausea and all that kind of stuff so I, I didn't want any <laughs> so I, didn't, I haven't actually tasted them yet so um, this is the next evening and I'm gonna finally ice my cupcake and taste it and have it and savor it. <laughs> uh, my mom came home over earlier and she said they were really good so hopefully they are. So I have them all here. Well, some of them, the rest are in the other. Um, they smell delicious. And my hubby is here as well to help me taste them. So he's gonna let me know if they're good or not. And he better say they're good, otherwise I will murder him. <laughs> so I'm gonna select this one. This one's cute. It's one of the heart ones, but the hearts didn't really work out very well because of the tops. It's okay. Um, I'm just gonna grab a spoon and I'm not like professional in any way. I'm not like a professional baker, so I'm sure there are some professional bakers out there and cake decorators that are watching this and are like, that's not how you decorate it properly. I'm just gonna do it like this. I don't really care. So, Jovis, do you wanna try it? I'm gonna try this cupcake. Here, I'll give you a plate. Hi, oh guys! There you go. That's not white. Right. How do I get it out of this thing? You just peel it off. You should have given me a cup or something. Hey guys, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it for the win. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Is it good? Uh huh. Yay. That's gross. You're just drooling. It tastes it. like it's yogurt. So careful because it's like. Oh, it tastes like toffee yogurt. Mm. Yay! It's good. Now I'm going to make mine and I'm going to go upstairs and have it in bed because I'm a sloth like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!